Hi everyone, welcome back to this week's video. So in today's video, it is January faves. I just can't believe we're at the end of January. I can't believe we survived January, even though it's been a lockdown. But I've shocked myself. I've got so many products from January. Some are from Christmas as well, but I've got quite a few products for you. So here they all are. This might be a bit of a long one, bitches. So get yourself a little drink and let's just begin. I've got my coffee. So I'm going to put in. I also have gorgeous meetings. They are from Jewelry by Jessica. How gorgeous are they? She actually makes them herself. A little leopard print number. I love a little bit of leopard print, y'all. So yeah, super cute. Also, don't mind my uh, brown roots either. I'm actually getting them done this week. Okay, so let's just begin. Let's start off with cleansers. So this isn't a new product. This is... You all know I've loved it for so long, but because I haven't used it for a while and then my mum got me it for Christmas, it's in January faves. I think it's always in January faves, if I'm honest, but I'm so sorry I couldn't not feature it. This is Elemis Pro Collagen Balm Cleanser. You all know how much I love a balm cleanser. I just find them so nourishing on my skin. I'm all about a balm cleanser. I love Elemis. I love Emma Hardy. I love Dior Take the Day Off. What else do I like? It's definitely another one. But yeah, this is definitely a ride or die for me. So when my mum gets me every Christmas, so I have to feature it in January faves. So this is definitely a favourite. Um, I'm, I'm running low. But I do want to try the new superfood cleanser from Elemis, the Balm AHA cleanser. That sounds a bit of me, so that's next on my list. Um, then coming on to some we've done cleanser, let's do serums, oils, yeah. Okay, so this was, oh, this blew my socks off. I mentioned it in my best of, no, it wasn't my best of beauty. I mentioned it in what I got for Christmas, I think it was. And it's just the most gorgeous serum. I've got two serums, a little bit more on the pricier side, what really stood out for me for January. And it's this, and I'll show you the other one in a minute. So this is from Dalton Cosmetics, and it's their SEA, from the SEA range. It looks like this. And it's the Skin Essential Activator. So yeah, I absolutely love this. As I say, this I think this is on the more luxurious end, but it's just a gorgeous serum that I absolutely loved. I won't I won't go into too much detail, guys, because I have got quite a few products, but I have mentioned this in the last two, last couple of videos, so I'll, I will leave the links below. But yeah, that was a gorgeous serum. Then coming on to another serum. Oh my god, this is absolutely gorgeous. This is from Elemis again. This is their Pro Collagen Super Serum Elixir. Looks like this. Again, another gorgeous serum. It's like, oh my God, it's absolutely gorgeous. It's like satin. When you put when you start to rub it in and pass it in, it literally turns to satin. Loved that. I actually got that as well for Christmas. Then I didn't actually get this for Christmas. I just got this around the end of December time and then started using it. So I thought I'd feature it in my faves for this month. This is Liqueur's Healthy Glow Plumping Serum. So this is about £4 and I've been using it. And what I like to do is just take a small amount and just press it into my skin, like really press it in, get it going. Really press it in and I just love the glow it gives to my skin and also the nice hydration it gives. So I've been loving that and I think if you're on a budget four pounds, I don't think you can go wrong. So that was definitely a fave. Again with Aldi though, it's hit or miss. So if you're in there and you see one, get it because chances are when you go back, it ain't gonna be there sister. Trust me, I've been there. So what I'll do, we'll do like skincare because then I've got some body care and then I've got some hair care, then I've got some nail care. So we'll do skin. So next up for skin, what blew me socks off for January was the 111 Skin Eye Patches, which I did a video on a couple of weeks back, at first impressions, and literally I was blown away. On camera, I couldn't believe it. I was like, oh my God, they literally just blared me paws off. It was crazy, but it was gorgeous. So yeah, they were definitely my favourites. And I even think... I've even put these on my best abuse for 2021 as well. So what I like to do with that, what I like to do, I'll make a list of like products that are really catching my eye throughout like them over the months. And then if I find I haven't really reached for them again, I'll take them off my best abuse. But these are so far on the best abuse. Okay, now coming on to hair care. Needs I say more. So I got these for Christmas and use them. Literally love them. You guessed it, Moroccan oil. So I've literally loved these so much. I just love the Moroccan oil smell, it's the next, it's next level. And I also got the little uh, Moroccan oil, which was the game changer. This is like the OG of Moroccan oil. And I've used that a few times, but I've used the, the, the I was going to say salt and pepper then. <laughs> the shampoo and conditioner all. Um, again, loved them. They were little travel sizes, perfect. I actually got them um, 
from my sister-in-law. She got me them for Christmas and literally loved them so much. So yeah, they were definitely a favourite. Because Moroccan oil will always be a favourite in my eyes. So, Gorgina. Again, hair care. We need to talk about the shrine. Drop it. So, I've mentioned on Instagram a few times. I struggle keeping my hair vibrant. Like, don't look now. Obviously, the roots are so bad and that. Um, but sometimes with my extensions, my hair will fade and I find it find hard like to match it or just my hair fades in general. Like now when my colour needs doing and what I've been using is the Shrine Dropper and what you do, it comes in this little tub, little shrine tub. You put your conditioner in and then you literally just do how many drops you want. So you literally custom it yourself. You could go as dark, as bright as you want, as pale as you want and I've got the peach ones. So I didn't really want to go for red. I prefer my hair more of an orangey as opposed to red. People don't really get when I say that but I like to be an orange ginger, not like a red. So I got the peach drops. I actually messaged Shrine on Instagram and said well, which ones would you recommend for orange and they said peach but just put quite a few drops in. And I love it. So I literally get uh, put a little bit of conditioner in the tub, do as many drops as I like, and then you get a little spatula and mix it all up. And then what I tend to do, you put it onto damp hair. So wash your hair as normal, and then I put it onto damp hair. And then sometimes I'll even sleep in it because it's literally just conditioner. It's like a conditioner with a tint to it, so it won't like if anything. Your hair will be softer when you wash it out. That's what I do anyway. It says to leave it on. I think for like twenty minutes, but guys, I literally sleep in it. So I think the longer it's in here, it might last a little longer. Who knows? I literally love coffee, you know. I love it. How cute is this clip? This is also from Je This is also from Julie by Jessica. So she makes um she made these both. I'm like, I don't know, it's what we clip in. Cute though, isn't it? I love all these type of clips, they're all coming back into fashion, aren't they? So yeah, cute. That was another little fave. Then coming on to body cream, you all know I love a nice body butter or her body cream. Every time I'm in the home and bargain, I always go down the aisle and see what's new. And if there's a new dove, I always have to try it. And this time um, I tried the oxygen, oxy oxygen touch. It is, it is nice. Not my favourite smell though, but I have liked it. It's like me being me January moisturiser. You know what I'm like. Uh, my favourite one is the Cashmere Comfort. Oh, holy mother of God, absolutely gorgeous. But I still do like that. I still love a body a body um, cream, especially from Dove as well. Funnily enough, I can't use Dove shower gel because it just dries me out so much. It's mad. But I love the body creams. I love the... I really do like the Dove. And I also like the Dove... Put a little bit on, actually. I also like the Dove um, Gradual Tan. The... Yeah, the gradual summertime. Oh my god, that smells nice actually. Who am I trying to kid? It does smell nice, but my favourite one is just the cashmere comfy. But it's just so nourishing on your skin. So yeah, and they don't like 150 in a home and bargain. Love me a little home and bargain buy. Um next, oh I forgot to mention this. This was skin related. I've been loving this. Again, I got this at Christmas. This was only from like the Aldi. Um I got it as a present at Christmas and it's just a jade roller. It's, it's not a jade roller, it's a rose quartz roller. So I've been like just nice and Doing this on my skin. I've been using face masks a lot. I'm like just getting some blood going. And it's nice and cool and so cooling on the skin. And what I like to do, I like to leave it in the fridge as well, just so it's even extra cooling. You know what? You all know I love cool, calm skin. So definitely love that. And that was like that's probably been less than £10 as well. So if you can get them in Aldi, get them. Then coming on to nail products now, we've obviously been in lockdown so I've been having to paint my own nails, I'm awful at it but anyway. I was kindly sent some nail products back in like November and I kept forgetting to mention them. I didn't do a December favourite and what it is, it's basically a nail treatment and a cuticle treatment. I literally really love them so much. So this one, it's like a little nail, like a little nail varnish and all I do, I just put it around my cuticle and then just rub it in. And it just, it's great for just adding hydration and moisture into your nails. I find, especially in winter, my nails dry out so much and it literally makes me sick the thought of it. Because I get, around, I get around my nail, I can get a little bit of dry skin. It's not nice. But this I've really loved. And also do, like I said, just, like I said, just do that. This says it's a nail treatment. Before bed, apply to nails, massage in and allow the oil to sink throughout the night. It's so nice. That's what I've been doing. So I've been using that. It's from the brand Miley. And it's their nail treatment serum. It was kindly sent to me from Just Beauty. And then this is the... Oh, it smells so nice. 
And then this is the nail and cuticle oil with almonds oil and this says it nourishes and conditions. It looks like this and it's a, a roller one as well. So literally roll it on. And then just rub it in. Oh, makes me feel so nice, you know, just adding that little bit of hydration, a little bit of moisture to my nails. And they're funny on my nails. I like, always like, I love dark nails, but I like quite square clean looking nails too they just add that just takes away like that dryness and I, I notice it i get it so much in winter so yeah smell that. it looks mad but they do smell amazing especially this one so that's the nail treatment serum which i've been loving i've been putting it on before bed and then this just throughout the day i like to leave it in my bag and try it on just to keep me nice and hydrated so they were the, both of them from miley and they actually included a um, Hand creams as well, which I've been loving as well. So, and just to keep my hands all nice and um, hydrated, really. Then coming on to tan, I literally have loved this. I got this sent to me um, a few weeks back now. Used it, and I literally love it. Like how funny when it comes to tan, especially like an instant mousse and like always touchy feely. But this, as I say, was sent to me. It's from all about Eve tan. And this is the mango version. Now, I really love it. So it says, achieve a stunning gradual tan with our tanning solution, Mousse. Mousse, our tan is easy to apply, streak-free, flash drying, and free from harsh chemicals. So that's, that is accurate too, because when I put it on, if it, I felt it went on a little bit differently. I didn't get that false tan smell. It's, it's got mango in it anyway, but I, I, I just felt like it wasn't as drying on my skin. I think that's why I've liked it, preferred it more. In the products not tested on animals, DHA, a cake and a balance in between perfect golden tan and silky smooth hydration. And then just tells you how to apply it. Obviously, do your exfoliation exfoliation first. But yeah, I really do like it. I've actually got it on now. I think I went a little bit funny on my hands. So you have to just ignore me. That was my own fault. But I actually do really like it. And I done my whole body with it the other day. And it, I really, really liked it. And because I am quite fair, when you got in contact, they said, do you want the fair one they do with like a fair medium and then dark and i was just like normally i go for medium just because i am fair i do like to be a little bit more bronzed a little bit more tanned and i sometimes feel i don't really get the full effect when i go for like the lighter i feel like sometimes it doesn't show up as much so i did go for the medium one and i literally love it i've told everyone about it and i'm just, it's so good as well that she's from liverpool as well like you go girlfriends so yeah, I literally love this tan and I'll still use it. I just don't put it on my face. I just keep it all on my body and I've got a certain, a different tan. I use the James Reed tan for my face, which I'm sure you all know. But yeah, that was lovely. Really, really like that. And you know what? It was funny. I was actually in desperate need. I wanted to try a new tan. I've tried, I tried Saint Tropez. I've tried St. Moritz. I've tried so many different tans and I was like, I need to try a new tan. And then they messaged me and I was like, bitch, what are the chances? So yeah, I literally do love that. I think I've got two makeup products. Yeah, these aren't new, but I've just been loving them again. And I've actually got them on now, this little combo. And it is NYX, so NYX Air Suede Lip, Lip Pencil in London. It's gorgeous. Looks like this. I love like a, like a nudey brown. I'm not really, I'm not really a pink nude. I'm like a nudey brown. But yeah, I literally love that and it goes on like, I can't even show you it on my hands, I've just put cream on. It's like suede, so it just literally draws on so easy. Let me see if I can show you. Yeah, literally so nice. So that, and then this, I've had this for years, I found it before. This wasn't a favourite, but I'll show you what I've just done with my lips. This is from, this is only a little, is it? What lip liner, what lip is this? It's Rimmel and it's... I don't even know what this is. And it's shade 642 in shade Nude Delight. I've got to ignore that tan. That's me either. And then that's the shade. So yeah, and then a little bit of that. And then this is my other, other fave. This, again, is NYX NYX. And it's their butter gloss in the shade Madeline. Absolutely gorgeous. When it comes to the NYX, like, I think they're about like £6 each, so £12, so it's super affordable, and I just love it, and you can get it in boots as well. So what I like to do is just add a little bit of lip gloss. But yeah, 
really love those and as i say again so so affordable but yeah that's all for me january faves I told you i did have a good few products but i was so excited as i say some was from christmas so and there's just already i've got february faves so stay tuned for them but i hope you've all enjoyed this week's video let me know if you've got any faves that you're currently loving but have a fabulous day don't forget to follow me on instagram it's just skincare with stephanie but have a fabulous day and i will see you all in my next video bye